New at 5, construction has begun at the Western North Carolina Nature Center to make way for a new exhibit. News 13's Taylor Thompson shows us what the process is looking like and what's in store for visitors. A new exhibit rising from the rubble is how leaders here at the WNC Nature Center describe this $1.7 million project that's underway. There are many entities helping to make this project a reality, including the city of Asheville, friends of the WNC Nature Center and the Tourism Development Authority. What we're doing here is we're taking down a very historic piece of the Nature Center's history. That piece of history, Director Chris Gentel explains, is their old elephant house. Which used to have Henrietta, our elephant that a lot of people will remember. She passed away in 1982, but the elephant house has been here all that time. And now, the first steps to bring down that historic piece of history is starting. In the next few uh, weeks, people will see this space completely vacant with the opportunity for us to expand our farmyard so that the goats and sheep will be able to access the hillside. The goal since they first began discussing this project a few years ago was to always expand. So they have a positive encounter when they first enter us and then a great ending when they leave us. What Gentile says they're calling the gateway to the Southern Appalachians. The wide open feeling, the natural feeling, the ability to interact with wildlife uh, that you might not see elsewhere is really important for us. There will also be interactive features added for kids, a butterfly exhibit, and a new plaza. It's not really impacting uh, the rest of the Nature Center visit. It's only in this front part once you walk by this. The rest of the Nature Center is, is exactly how it's been. Gentau believes what people appreciate the most about the Nature Center is their ability to continue to grow. This is just one more step in our journey to becoming uh, the best Nature Center in the country. And right now, Jen Tell says the exhibit is expected to be up and running by May of 2025. In Asheville, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.